So is Valve making one of these? A Nintendo Switch style portable gaming PC? Well, I think that'd be awesome. And we have some very, very interesting leaks that seem like they're very credible, suggesting that that's the case. This will be a thing possibly launching by quarter four of this year. Now, I'll give you guys several articles that discuss this and links to all of them will be in the description to this video, as I always do. Uh, I always link my sources, so you can take a closer look at all of the details. Now, I really hope this is true. I think that the um, Nintendo Switch style device, a portable device, is a cool complement to a home gaming rig, because sometimes, you know, I'm on the go, or I just don't want to be at my desk, I want to lay on the couch, whatever, TV's not available. I just think it's a cool form factor, it's a cool style of device, and S Valve are no strangers to designing their own type of hardware. So I don't think this is out of the realm of possibility. I think this is a definitely could be a, a, a thing that they would do. They've developed their own VR device. A while back, they had their line of Steam machines. And again, Steam machines um, ran Linux right into a um, Steam uh, operating system running a bunch of Linux games. Valve has been interested in getting all the games on their Steam platform as, or as many as possible to support Linux. And that's what it looks like we're seeing here. Now, what I'm interested in is the fact that, okay, devices like this already exist and more are in development by various companies. But from what I've seen at least, although I haven't researched everyone out there, is that they're generally fairly pricey. Uh, they generally run... Um, uh, yeah, like I said, pretty expensive, and they are, you know, some of them are better quality than others. There's definitely interest in these devices, um, but they're usually running Windows, for one thing. So there should be some distinction in the Valve version of this. Another thing I'm interested in is where, the, you know, the price point could be, because the Valve... Um, if they're if they're launching it right into Steam, they could hope to make money off of the Steam sales and sell this more like a console, where theoretically they could sell it for a cost or even at a loss, hoping to make some money back. Now, I'm not saying they will do that, but they could do that, which could give them a pricing advantage compared to similar devices. Of course, if people just buy them to run emulators or games that they already own, eh. But um, I would, you know, I'd imagine they'd get some Steam sales off of these things. Okay, so what are the articles? Well, I first ran into this over here at videocards.com, and I will link this one in the description, but they are getting most of these rumors coming from an Ars Technica article. It's claiming it's an exclusive, and they have some exclusive sources about all of this. Now, um, one, uh, one place that they're getting this is within the code released on updates to Steam. There have been re uh, references to things called Neptune or Neptune controllers, as well as more recently something called Steam Pal. So it's seeming like Steam Pal might at least be the code name of this Nintendo Switch-like device. Um, and uh, the Neptune could be a re reference to the controllers. Now Steam, again, is no uh, are, are not um, <laughs> unknown to the concept of making their own controllers and making them kind of in a unique design scheme. Here's a Steam controller. They have the weird uh, like, like touch, uh, <laughs> touch control to try to mimic a mouse movement. It's certainly interesting, although people might uh, debate whether this... Uh, really panned out as, as an excellent device. I know some people love them, but a lot of people don't. Um, now that does bring in that we don't know exactly what the controllers would be like on, on Steam's version of the device. It sounds like they're not going to be detachable in the way that, it, that an actual Nintendo Switch is, but it does sound like they might have a similar idea on the edges here, but they could incorporate some touch controls similar to a Steam controller, although that seems to be based on these leaks that I've seen in the um, prototype stage. This device is very much in a prototype stage and Valve will try a lot of different things. So this whole device, I mean, it could get scrapped or you know, it could evolve a lot compared to where it's at right now where the leaks are showing us. But again, um, it seems to be called the Steam Pal, at least for now. And in the code names in the in the Steam source code that's been updated, 
and we know some things about it. So again, in this Ars Technica article, they are saying that multiple sources familiar with the matter have confirmed that the hardware has been in development for some time. And this week, Valve itself pointed to the device by slipping this um, new hardware-related code into the latest version of Steam. And that's what I mean about the Neptune and the, uh, the Steam Pal code, okay? Now, um, it, this, this would also go along, they're claiming, with something that um, Gabe Newell has said when asked in an interview about how they would respond to console games. He had this interesting quote recently of, you will get a better idea of that by the end of this year, and it won't be the answer you expect. You'll say, aha, now I get what he was talking about. So again, it, it's, it's possible that he's referring to this device, that it could be um, this being their answer to consoles or, or whatever, at least their attempt. Again, the Steam machines didn't really work out, but Valve didn't develop the Steam machines and produce the hardware themselves. They have more experience doing that now after producing their own VR devices. So it's possible that if they're running the whole show and supplying these and manufacturing them themselves, this could be more successful than the Steam machine idea that they tried in the past. Okay. Um, so as far as what we know about the hardware, I couldn't find any rumors regarding the exact um, uh, resolution of the screen or anything like that. I would hope that it would be 1080p, maybe even 720p if they put a weak GPU in there, just because on a smaller screen, uh, you can handle a lower resolution and it'd be uh, easier to drive games at good graphic settings the lower the resolution is if they're not putting a powerhouse um, you know, GPU in there. Again, you're gonna be running something integrated. And that brings me to some stuff that I'm seeing in the um, video cards article that I didn't see as much of in the Ars Technica article which is getting into what type of processor we might see in this thing. They seem to be saying it could be, and likely is, and they've got sources confirming this, who are well-known AMD leakers, that this could be running an AMD APU that's currently in development, specifically an AMD APU that's currently code codenamed Aerith, and um, AMD is known to be working on something called uh, the Van Gogh APU and its successor Dragon Crest based on the Zen 2 core architecture with Navi 2 integrated graphics. These are low powered nine watt APUs targeted at handheld devices, so they would match this type of device. Again, from AMD Batman, there's a post here saying Valve handheld console quarter four, mid 2021, able to play all your Steam library on it using a custom APU from AMD, seven to eight inch screen, codenamed Project Jupiter and codenamed Aerith for the APU. And this one's interesting. Again, I don't know how accurate this leak would be, but they're claiming $399 um, price point is their target, which is very interesting because while that is a little bit more than a Switch, it's a lot less than, the, than these uh, gaming PC type devices that I've seen in the past. Also, they've apparently got a um, well-known leaker named Kepler who has confirmed that Aerith is indeed the code name for Van Gogh. So if we put all of these together, we would be expecting an AMD APU with Navi 2 integrated graphics running this thing. Overall, I think this is really cool. I'm interested in this type of form factor. And if the price point was right, if it really was down there at that $399 type price point, it could be a really cool uh, place to play some of your less graphically demanding Steam games along with um, what I'd like to see is if it could operate with Steam Link or something like that to where if you're in a different room of your house, you could run your games on your gaming PC but play them as a handheld on that device. Um, it would also be great as an emulator if it's running Linux, you can do a lot of emulation on there and all of that. So yeah, overall, that's what we know about this device so far. I'm gonna link these two articles. I'm also gonna link an article that I found here at WCCF Tech uh, on the same topic. It didn't seem like they had any 
information that wasn't in those other two articles. But again, if you'd like another take on it, uh, feel free to pop into those. All three of those will be in the description. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on all this in the comments section. And I do read all the comments on my channel and try to reply to as many as they can. Uh, I really enjoy participating in these discussions. I hope you guys have an excellent day.